How is this even possible? Why is Slovenia so beautiful? Stick around, this is going to be an absolute cracker and roll that bloody intro. G'day ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining me, taking some time out of your day once again to join me for another vlog. This is what you're in for today, an absolute cracker, a place that I've tried to get to twice, because just to my right hand side here, there's an old ruins that I wanted to photograph. Well, I wanted to come up and see if I can get a photo out of this. But this is where I'm at home. I love doing this stuff. So if you're new to this channel, expect a lot more of this because I'm Matthew Storer, a travel and landscape photographer from Australia, and I bring you all around the world to undiscovered places, showcasing the beauty and diversity on this channel through my photography. So if you enjoy that, just head below and please subscribe for future content. It took me three hours to get up here. The sun's just about to set. It's an absolute cracker. We're gonna get all the way back down in that valley three hours ago. So let's get started there. Bloody Nora. Two things, no, no, three things. It's hot as balls out here right now. I can't believe it. There's snow around still, but it's hot as balls. Secondly, I am unfit. I need to get back out this summer and get fit and active. These little chicken legs are not holding up today at all. And thirdly, I have to ask a question, ask a favor. Let me know in the comments below guys, if I can get a GoPro and record sometimes because on hikes like this, I have to bring the X-H1, the 16 to 80 and a 16 mm 1.4 for low light filming, plus another tripod. It's around 6.7 kilos I think I weighed it before I come. And that is what is killing me. That's what I want to ask. Let me know in the comments below. If you'd be bothered the an extra 10 or 15%, of a 10 minute video would be recorded on a GoPro and it's gonna save my bloody old Australian back. But right now I'm just gonna rest, I'm about one third of the way there. Probably got about another two hours because it takes me about one third of the whole time to do the recording. So about four hours in total. So two, two and a half hours to go to the top but it's bloody beautiful out here. Relax now, then we'll get on our way. <laughs> Two thirds of the way there. I've got, oh, a branch up my ass. I've got about one hour and a half, one hour to go that way. Depends how slow the old body walks. Now, cheers. Oh, beautiful river water. Now I'm just gonna chill down, have some of these nuts. This is not a paid sponsorship, but these nuts, if you've got little, I think it's Audi in some countries, Go and get these Alesto fruit and nut mix exotic. They are the best thing you can eat in the mountains. Fried, dried fruit and a bit of nuts. I'm gonna sit here and munch on some nuts. That sounds terrible. But in a minute, I'm gonna get the old buzzer up. Straight up in the air. I'm gonna walk maybe 10 minutes that way. Show you guys this beautiful mountain range on the left hand side here. I'm not going that way. Just thought while I'm here, I'm gonna show you guys and then we're gonna Smash about an hour out a bit that way, but we've got plenty of light left to crack of a day. I'm just bloody glad to be up here, guys. It's absolutely magnificent. Cheers.
that is bloody stunning. So that is Austria. That's actually, I think the city of Villach, I'm pretty sure that is. And it doesn't look big enough from up here, but I'm not sure if you can pick up on the audio, but it's so windy. I've just tucked behind this hut here. It's actually in Austria. The dance I was doing before was the dance between Slovenia and Austria. I'm sorry if that audio is really loud. It's really, really windy up here. But now I think I've got about 35 minutes until I get to the place I want to get to. But this is quite nice. I don't actually know it's up here. But I'm going to keep punching on. The sunset doesn't look perfect right now, but I want to find this location. I'm just a little bit worried because I've got to walk all the way back down in the dark, sort of three hours. So I think I'm just going to full send it and see how I go. But this, this is bloody stunning. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can hide Finally made it. The old boy with the chicken legs made it. I'm gonna be quite quick. I actually planned to start for sunset, but I have to head down because, you know, it took me three hours to get up here. I wanna make sure I head back down a different way to that loop track. But this is 100% worth it. I've probably spent the last half an hour, 45 minutes, just sitting down and chilling out. Now, this sort of session isn't really for photography, actually. There's three yeah, three points I wanted to come out for. One, to obviously see if there's a photograph around. So you can almost call this like a recce, basically. Two, see if I could actually camp out here one night. I was hoping, I thought the ruins were bigger. The older pictures that I've seen obviously must have been 20, 30 years ago, but it's, a lot of it's knocked down right now. And then thirdly, to see the sunset and sunrise, because if I come out here, I want to get three lots of sessions done. Sunset, a Milky Way photography session because the, the ruins face back this way towards the Milky Way. And then thirdly, wake up in the morning, cook some breakfast, listen to those beautiful birds chirping and get a sunrise photo. So at the moment, I'm pretty happy. I just want to make sure it's pretty easy to get down. I'm not in too much trouble, but in the summertime, this will be absolutely beautiful. But now I'm going to head to my camera, get some photos to see what the composition's like. It's not a great day for photography, but a great recce, a behind the scenes of what it takes to be a bit more of a professional photographer. You know, seven hours of hiking just to see if there's actually a photo behind it. Let's go and find out if there is, guys. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I've changed our lens. I've got the 55 to 200 recording this. I've got the 16 to 80 mil. So I've brought everything out from 16 mil to 300 mil equivalent. And I wanted to find out you know, what lenses I need to bring up here. I didn't bring the 24 do I need to bring it? This is what a recce is all about, you know, trying to save weight and then obviously pack as much as you can to make sure you get the images to take home. But I did chuck the 55 to 200 on here before, but I was getting some light piercing through. And, you know, I just zoomed up to some mountains that I really love here, that I love to photograph, but it's really endless of what I could do here, how much I could photograph with especially the 55 to 200. I'm getting beautiful pastel colors over this side. It's just beautiful, actually. It's so beautiful. What I'm gonna do in a minute, though, is just walk around with photo pills and get the, the live view and work out where the sun's gonna rise, where the Milky Way's gonna go in conjunction with like this tree. This tree here is absolutely beautiful. There's so many options out here that I just wanna make sure, not even get in camera, just get in the old noggin and make sure I've got it. That's what's most important right now, so. You know, sunset definitely covered. I'm happy to get a sunset photo out here, but it's a long bloody way to come just for one sunset photo. So, you know, two photos I can handle. That's what I want to do right now. So I'm going to just play the image I took before of just the beautiful, you know, zoom picture of the mountains. I really wish you guys were here with me. I would love that. You know, a couple of you bloody young chappers up here. Woo! Here's that photo, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so there you have it, guys. I know that was pretty rushed, but it's super important for me to get you know, everything in my brain 
to make sure I know what I want to capture whilst I'm out here. That's what I want to take you through right now, basically what I look for when I'm out here and sort of imagine when I get back on Lightroom and just sort of muck around with a few things, look at compositions, basically. So I've maybe taken, you know, 15, 20 images and they consist of basically sunrise, sunset and a few Milky Way images. So the first one is the sunrise. You know, in the summertime, the sun's gonna rise from over this way, lining up that mountain face there. So the first one is on that side of the ruins and that beautiful tree. I really wanna incorporate that tree. I think especially it's gonna be hard, but that morning light might light that tree up and give really good uh, sort of a mood to the image. Then I was in the background, the mountains are close enough that I won't get that mountain haze. The second one is basically both down here, one of the ruins and then one of that tree again, which is with the Milky Way image. Then also I've done a paramic, so I want to stitch those paramics together and maybe that's a nice sunset photo because the sunset, a bit of a hard direction here. Like it's basically going to be, I think a little bit more that way. It's going to be hard for sunset. But guys, I need to pack up, I need to run down this mountain. I've got about two hours of sprinting down the mountain to go and I've got one hour to make sure to get down and I'm safe as houses. So you guys are going to pack up this vlog, go and get a hot cup of tea, whatever you're going to do, go to bed, wake up. I've got three hours, three and a half hours till I'm home, so it'll be about 11 o'clock by the time I'm home. It's horrible, but it's got what you've got to do. That's why I want to camp out here. But guys, I always appreciate your time and effort to log on to YouTube and watch me. I really appreciate it. Come on this journey it's with you guys. It's, it means the world to me, it does, like taking your time out of your day. So thank you for watching this vlog today. If you like it, give it a huge thumbs up. If you think someone's going to love this hike that I've done, this crazy adventure, give it a share. But guys, as always, thank you and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao. That was not even close, you idiot.